Happy Lord's Day, Church family. Sulit. Pake Gyeonghi. Starting today, our church will have a week of prayer and fasting. And I believe that many of us are excited for the prayer and fasting week. Because since last week, many people are asking me, is it the start of our prayer fasting week today? So I believe that many of us are anticipating the prayer and fasting week. Our theme for this prayer and fasting is in pursuit of God. And it is our desire that each one of us, corporately and individually, that we will have a one consuming passion in life. And that is to pursue God, to develop a, a, a fear of Him, to develop our love for Him, and cultivate a desire for Him. Last week, Ong Bok Su talked about the blessings of prayer and fasting. And even though the Bible did not directly command us to, to, to pray and fast, nor did our church oblige us to fast. Yet Jesus expects us to fast. When he says in Matthew 6, 6, 6, 16, When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received the reward in full. Jesus did not say, if you fast, but he said, when you fast. Jesus expects his disciples and Christians to fast. He also said, But when you fast, do not put oil on your head and wash your face. So it, it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your Father who is unseen. And the Father who sees you what is done in secret will reward you. So what is Christian fasting? It is a temporary denial of something good. Like food or gadgets or sports or recreation. That we, that we may intensify our longing for something greater, namely, God. So the goal of our prayer and fasting more than anything is to create a deeper hunger for God. To cultivate a deeper desire for God. But some Christians find fasting a duty and a burden. Instead of seeing it as a delight and a blessing. Because their focus is on losing something. 
and not on what they will gain. Nice. They keep on looking at the end. They keep on looking at the end. They keep on looking at the food that they will lose or the social media that they will lose, but not on the, what will, they will gain, namely God. Iti di ko ti kong i sit ki e jia mi, i sit ki e ti ko ne ngolok, i bo siyong kong i iti tiyo siyong te. Our passage this morning is from Matthew chapter 9 verses 14 to 17. Nang kinalit, may kwa si matay hok im te kao jiu chap si kao chap chit chat. Let us first take a look at the background of our passage. Lang kwa chap si ke king bun i e pwe king si siya mi. Matthew chapter 9 is about the striking contrast between the heart of the Pharisees towards sinners and the heart of Jesus towards the sinners. The scribes and the Pharisees were the spiritual leaders back then. And they refused that they needed Jesus. They refused to acknowledge that they needed Jesus. In Hyodin, Bobi Singdin, Chapsu, Chuyaso. Because they thought that they were righteous already. In the income, Kak in Kaiki, Si Gilang. Instead of coming to Jesus, they have full of resentment towards Jesus. Bo Chin Kun, Chuyaso. They hated Jesus for coming and feasting with sinners. So in the early part of this chapter, they ask, why is Jesus feasting with the sinners? But there is another question Not from the Pharisees, but this time from the disciples of John the Baptist. Kita cuci na untan tan si hot in sai lang lai meng setia buntui. Kau si sui yok han eh bunto ya sang kuan le meng setia buntui. If the Pharisees back then were asking why is Jesus feasting with the sinners, hege hot in sai lang hege si cuci le meng kong tu ya so ah ui se me kap cuci din le sa kap jia ni. The disciples of John the Baptist were asking, "Why is Jesus and his disciples not fasting?" Si Sue yung kanya bunto, si Le Meng Kong, tuya so kap iye bunto, uy siya may bole kimchi ani. Matthew chapter nine is about Jesus making a striking contrast between the old religious rituals of the Pharisees. Di matay ako im te kao siyo, tuya so si Ho In Kwa Tiyo Kong, kaya ku e ah ku yok e zong kao e. And the reality of his kingdom under the new covenant. Our passage begins by saying, "Then the disciple of John came to him, saying, 'Why do we and the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast?'" Gun kap pa di sa lang siyong siyong kimcha, di kap di bunto to bole kimcha. Just si uy siya mini. Unlike the Pharisees, the question of John's disciples were sincere. Tige bun yokhan e bunto kap pa di sa lang bo sa tang si inui yokhan e bunto si sing kun e lai mung. But both of them shared the same concern. Tasi nung And their concern was that Jesus and the disciples were not following the religious standard back then. This in here, Sang Kuan Si Kong, 主要说他比不多，无教导这个古约的宗教的法律。In the time of Jesus, the Jewish Orthodox practiced and observed fasting twice a week. 这个时阵啊，主要说一点钟，呃。犹太人的宗教一礼拜禁食两拜。In the Old Testament, we can see that there's the the prescribed fasting was only during the Day of Atonement. 在古约时代，只有规定一年一拜禁食。But Jewish tradition evolved into a twice a week fasting. 但是犹太人宗教就底下改变改变，到到即阵啊，迄到迄阵啊是一礼拜两拜。So the Pharisees, the Pharisees and the scribes, of practice fasting very seriously. So he gave what we say, lang, ah, the ha, 遵守这个禁食，遵遵遵守真严格。But not only that, 
They want their fasting and their religiosity to be seen by others. And at the same time, they became legalistic in doing it. They imposed this tradition to people. So the question of John's disciples goes in two ways. First, he is asking why is Jesus and the disciples not following the religious standard? And secondly, why is Jesus and the disciples not grieving? Fasting is associated, as what we've learned last week also, is associated with grief. And the, the disciples of John the Baptist were grieving. Why? Because John was imprisoned. Their discipler is not with them. But Jesus answered them by correcting the, the, the motive for fasting. Jesus corrected their theology. And this is what we will study this morning. First, Jesus taught, taught us that the true heart of fasting is to awaken and intensify our hunger or desire for God. And it says, Can the wedding guests, Jesus said to them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast. If we can notice, Jesus used a metaphor here. He used the metaphor of wedding feast. Jesus used the same metaphor that John the Baptist used in John chapter 3. In answering the, 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 the question of John the Baptist's disciples, Jesus used the same metaphor that their disciples used. John the Baptist referred to himself as the friend of the bridegroom. And who is the bridegroom? Jesus. Now, he, he changed from the friend of the bridegroom to the guests or attendees of the wedding. What Jesus is saying is that a wedding is a time of celebration. It is not a time to mourn. And they should be celebrating because the bridegroom is with them. Who is the bridegroom again? Jesus is with them. The problem with the Pharisees and the disciples of John the Baptist is that they don't understand why they don't need to mourn. Yet, yes, yes, it's a, yes, it's valid that they are grieving because John the Baptist is imprisoned. Uh, 
But they should rejoice because the Messiah, whom they're anticipating for a very long time, has come. That's it. In in kai bak do hua hi in we in let ting hao e jing gu le ting hao e mi sai a e king lai lo. This Messiah is with them. Jige mi sai a si kap in dong zai. But they refuse to believe in Jesus. That's it. In bo be xiong xin zu ya so. They refuse to follow Jesus. In bo be kun de zu ya so. That is why their fasting is wrong. So in le ah kim jia kim jia um dio lo. The fasting of the Pharisees and the disciples of John is missing the most important thing about fasting. Jai Hua Di Sai Lang Kap Yo Kan Ei Bun Tao Li Kim Jia Sit Ki Dao Ji Jin Tiong Yao Kim Jia Ei Bok Tiak. What is the most important thing about fasting? Kim Jia Te Tiong Yao Ei Bok Tiak Si Xian Mi Ni. It is Jesus. Chin Kun Zu Ya So. He is the central purpose and the central person of our fasting. Yi Si Lan Ei Kim Jia Ki Dao. The eighth hour, the fourth symptom. He is the reason why we fast. She, he is he the reason why we shame it. Let me kim cha. And Jesus said, and Jesus said that the time will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them. Then they will fast. He said he the day will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them. Then they will fast. He said he the day will come. Jesus was not just referring to his crucifixion that he will be taken away and his disciples will fast. 主要说，唔单单讲到伊要受定死的审判，个人啊，伊要离开因。But Jesus was talking about the time of his between his ascension and his second coming. 但是主要说咧，主的时钟是指伊升天，要等到伊第二摆过来，迄个一段的时间。Church family, this is the reason why we are fasting. 也是指咩？这个是关。Semi guan in lan wei semi tiok kim jia. Because we long for Jesus to come back. In wei lang ng bang zu ya so kin kin lai. Because physically right now he is not with us. In wei xin te hong bin yi zhi zhi na bo kap lan di bo zui ji e. Was saying that time will come when my disciples will fast. Zu ya so hong hi ge tiam jing be kao lo din ah bun to be kim jia lo. Because they will mourn for me. In wei in me wei tiok gua ai tong. They will fast because they will long to see me. In be akim cha in in we in I be king tio gua. John Piper said that the very core of Christian fasting is homesickness for God. Ah, this ge John Piper kong chiku e kong di kim cha ju si kanan chiu di le sit ki ah di e ge ting. We long for the king to come back. Nan ang bang ge ko ong kin kin lai. Prayer and fasting ushers us to this attitude. Kito kim cha si holan utchikwan et haito to awaken and intensify our desire for the Lord Jesus. The chingo kyo kyo chinan holan koka ay katmo zuya so. Jonathan Edwards, a great theologian and pastor from the United States. Chige Jonathan Edwards si chige chinchut mi ay boxu. One said that the climax of our walk with God. Lan kapju tang kya te et ko hong e si jun. The climax of our affection for God. Lan kapju ya so chin bit e kwan he. Is best seen in our desire for God. Tiya ho lan si te et ho lan kwa tiyo e. Ju si lan jiwa ai mo ju ya so. Brothers and sisters in Christ, this morning I invite all of us to thoroughly ask ourselves. Ya ti ji be gwa ng ba lan kina cha ki ai mung lan kwa. In the quietness of our hearts right now, ask ourselves: Do I desire to know God more? Lan an jing lan e sim lan meng kwa lan u jin jia ai mo chin kun zu ya so abo. Do we long to be with God? Liu ai kap zu tong zai abo. Do we enjoy our time with God? Lan lu kap zu tong zai cam cac jin hua hi abo. Do we long to see Jesus? You know, I caught your joy as so abo. Or maybe some people are saying, "Please, Jesus, don't come back yet." I'm trying to learn how to do so. Do we see light? Le, I have still many things to do with my life. Why I got the one thing being done? I try to enjoy Tai Chi. Every true Christian has the same inward longing as Asaph in Psalm seventy-three, twenty-five to twenty-six. In Kai Tagalang, Chin Chu, Ah, Si Pian, Chit Sap Sa Pi, He Ge Ai Sap, Ah, Si Kuan, Ng Bang. He said, "Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is nothing on earth that I desire besides you." 
伫遐讲，独立以外，伫天顶也好想安尼；独立以外，伫地顶我也有爱慕想安尼。My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. 我肉体，我心肠衰败，啊，但是上帝，我心内的力量，可是我的福分，直到永远。A true Christian has this kind of longing in his or her heart. Give me God more. I want to know you, Lord. Give me yourself. Yet at the same time, we also acknowledge the struggle that we often fail to desire God the way He should be desired. 上款咱着挣扎，为虾米咱无一款的态度爱亲近主呢？ And many factors take our desires away from God. We take too many reasons to turn our relationship to God away. First, we can see that sin devours our desire for God. Second, we can see that sin devours our desire for God. Unconfessed and tolerated sin in our lives devours our hunger for God. No repentance, no sin. 予咱会做继续进行，即个予咱甲主啊离开真远。If we allow sin to reside in our hearts, we are we are corrupting our right view of God. 咱将啊罪恶存在伫咱个心内时阵，咱就会伫遐甲主无亲近。It ruins our fellowship with God. 咱予咱甲主个关系会拍歹去。But secondly. One of the things that takes our desire away from God is the idols of the heart. The problem with idols is that most of the time, idols are the good things of life. Sometimes it is easier for us to acknowledge that we have sinned against God when we commit a sin that is heinous before Him. If we slander or we commit immorality, it is easier for us to acknowledge that Lord, I have sinned against you. If we slander or we commit immorality, it is easier for us to acknowledge that Lord, I have sinned against you. If we slander or we commit immorality, it is easier for us to acknowledge that Lord, I have sinned against you. The blessings of life. Then, at some point, we try to make the idols into something that is a joke. And the idols are the things that attract us more than God. Yeah, try to make the idols into something that keeps us from the things of God. And most of the time, we don't realize that this particular hobby, this particular thing, this particular person is already an idol. At some point, we look at this thing, look at this idol, look at this person, look at this person. Idols are deceitful because they are beautiful. They attract us. And the more that we play with them, the more they become appealing to us. And little by little, our hearts are swallowed by these idols of life. Yeah, ban ban eh, ban ban. Now we try to show them just turn no kilo. And we'll realize one day that we have drifted away from God. Today, today, we just found that we have drifted away from God. Why am I not desiring God anymore? 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 This desire to to worship the Lord, to love the Lord. I don't have the desire to read His Word. It's because we have loved the idols of our lives. Church family, we often fail to realize that enjoying the idols of life is as evil as falling into sins of immorality and pride. And if we carefully diagnose our hearts right now, what attracts us the most? Let's search our hearts. What is it that keeps us from the idols? 
Is it spending time with God or spending time with our friends? Yeah, Is it watching TV series, telenovela, or reading and feeding from our Bibles? Is it eating good food or feeding from God's Word? Yeah, is it playing or praying? Which one is more attractive to us? If we are honest with ourselves, most of us will say that we delight more in the idols of life than in God. And many will say perhaps that I'm not desiring God the way He should be desired. John Piper said that if you don't feel a strong desire for the manifestation of the glory of God, John Piper said, It is not because you have drunk deeply in God and are satisfied in God. It is because you have nibbled so long at the table of the world. Your soul is stuffed with small things and there is no room for the great. God did not create you for this. Church family, if you ever find ourselves very at home in this world, very comfortable with this world, that we don't want to leave this world, then it means that we have loved this world and we made the things of this world the idols of our lives. Prayer and fasting exposes the sinfulness and idols of our hearts. But at the same time, it ushers us to the sanctifying grace of the Spirit of Christ. And it creates in us a deeper hunger and desire for Christ. May we cry to God the same cry that David prayed in Psalm 63 verse 1. Oh, he said, Oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. First, Jesus teaches us that the heart of prayer and fasting is to awaken and intensify a deeper desire for God. Secondly, Jesus teaches us that we pray and fast to embrace the reality of His kingdom. The first imagery that Jesus gave was a wedding feast. Now in verses 16 and 17, for the disciples of John to understand the new covenant fasting, Jesus gave another imagery. Another, another illustration. And he said, No one sews a patch of unshrunk cloth on an old garment, for the patch will pull away from the garment, making the tear worse. 
反正破坏迄个衫，破破破破会更加多。Neither do people pour new wine into old wine skins. If they do, the skins will burst. The wine will run out, and the wine skin will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into wine skins, and both are preserved. Yeah, no one can pour new wine into wine skins, and both are preserved. Yeah, no one can pour new wine into wine skins, and both are preserved. Yeah, no one can pour new wine into wine skins, and both are preserved. Yeah, no one can pour new wine into wine skins, and both are preserved. Yeah, no one can pour new wine into wine skins, and both are preserved. Jesus gave another illustration to show the incompatibility and the striking difference between the Old Testament covenant way of the Pharisees and the New Covenant way of fasting. 主要所讲这个皮肉是使予咱看到这个旧约的啊律法甲新约的律法无相同。The old garment and the old wine skin represents the legalistic, Pharisaical system of traditional Judaism. Hige kusa ko kapu ka kua pete, ha? Tu si tai piao chu ka kuyok hige ah dutwat e kuiting e dutle. The new cloth and the new wine represents the reality of God's kingdom. Sin eh sin po kap sin chu tai piao chu ya so. That the Messiah had come, and the reality of His kingdom, and the king, and the kingdom of God is here. He, he, the Messiah, he came to come, so he, the Son of God, he came to come. So what Jesus was teaching was that in the, the New Testament fasting is about the longing for the bridegroom, Jesus, to come back, and for us to long to the to see the consummation of God's kingdom. So. 新约嘅金价是咯，互咱欢喜，甲即个弥赛亚主耶稣亲近，佮伊嘅国度，佮降临，即个代志。I believe many of us here have many prayer concerns that you want to bring to God to this prayer and fasting. 我相信咱真侪人有真侪祈祷嘅事项，爱带到即个金价祈祷嘅点前。Yes, Jesus cares for our needs. 是嘅，主耶稣底下关心咱嘅。He cares for our prayer concerns. Let kito ay suhang tuya so kwanim. But beyond that, we pray and fast because we long to see Jesus taking up His kingdom in the world. Kasi ti tuay igwa lamig kaya ng lalang bang tuya so ay koto kangdim. Beyond our prayer concern, we want to see the kingdom of God continue to expand in this world. To the lalang kito ay at the very center of our prayer and fasting should be come, Lord Jesus, come. At the heart of our prayer and fasting is that we pray that the gospel of Jesus may be proclaimed so that more and more people will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. And acknowledge in their hearts that Jesus is King. Brothers and sisters, this is the standing point of our fasting. That is, we this is our kimchi kito standing. The kingdom of God is here. Jesus had come already, and we want to see His kingdom advanced. 主要说已经来了，咱爱看到伊个国度扩大进行。That is why in our manual for our prayer and fasting every year, we include the different ministries of our church. 所以咱咧记记多在手册内面有加上咱一下大多数项。Perhaps some of us are asking, why do we pray for the ministries of the church all the time? We say, let me pray for the ministries of the church. Why do we pray for missionaries around the world? We say, let me pray for the ministries of the church. Why do we pray for persecuted Christians in other countries? We pray for the ministries of the church. Because it tells us that we are part of a bigger family of believers. Because it tells us that we are part of a bigger family of believers. Because it tells us that we are part of a bigger family of believers. Because it tells us that we are part of a bigger family of believers. Because it tells us that we are part of a bigger family of believers. Because it tells us that we are part of a bigger
We are part of God's kingdom and we have a role to play. We are to pray, we are to care for them, we are to give, and we are to proclaim the gospel of message, the gospel message to other people. Sometimes we tend to focus on our jobs, in our business, in our studies, in our personal goals and aspirations. Though we are not saying that is wrong. But let us not forget that the purpose why we are here is because we are to, called to participate in the work of God. And we are not merely anticipators of the second coming of Jesus. But we are to be instruments in the expansion of His kingdom. And the only way that we, that we can participate in the work of God effectively is first if our hearts is focused on Jesus and if our hearts long for Jesus. This is what Jesus taught us about prayer and fasting. Mm. Long for Jesus. Desire Jesus above all. Long to see the kingdom of Jesus and participate in the expansion of His kingdom. As we end, church family, we encourage you to take part in our corporate prayer and fasting week. Let us take this opportunity to come to God with sincerity and devotion. And expect God to reveal Himself to us. Align our hearts to Him. And empower us to, to fulfill what He has commanded us to do. For the expansion of Jesus' kingdom. And for His glory alone. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we would like to commit to you our prayer and fasting week. We thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to pray and fast so that our hearts will be aligned to you, so that our hearts will be taught to hunger and desire Jesus more and to participate, Lord, in the building and expansion of your kingdom. Help us, Father, to to be focused on you. Strengthen us when we feel discouraged. Strengthen us, Lord God, when we feel wanting to give up in our prayer and fasting. As we look to the prize, as we look to you as our prize, may we continue to be encouraged and empowered to continue this prayer and fasting. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and amen.